Can confirm kill. Kill unconfirmed. JTAC is sending over nine line for November payload. We're going thermobaric. Pilots ready. They're cleared to shoot. Three. Tango still considered hot. Confirm, please. Hold on. The presentation is not a linear narrative presentation. It's a series of ideas, an image, and thoughts that I throw out, and maybe it could be good to, in, or, in order yourself to edit and thinking about. I will say that. I think I will share with the previous presenters a series of... I was continuing to shrink, to become what? The infinitesimal? What was I? Still a human being? Or was I the man? If there were other bursts of radiation, other clouds drifting across seas and continents. Would other beings follow me into this vast new world? So close. The infinitesimal and the infinite. But suddenly I knew they were really the two ends of the same concept. The unbelievably small and the unbelievably vast eventually meet like the closing of a gigantic circle. I looked up, as if somehow I would grasp the heavens, the universe, worlds beyond number, God's silver tapestry spread across the night. Um, becoming minor <clears throat> involves the taking in of a more ethical position. To become a supporter of, and even encourager of, artistic and societal perspectives that find no home in today's over-rationalized global consensus culture. This involves a move from the center uh, to the periphery. To even go further, it is the act of claiming the periphery. And the periphery then is a viable alternative which possibly also has wider repercussions uh, globally as it takes into account the scope of the organization, its prior achievements, and its origin. And in that moment, I knew the answer to the riddle of the infinite. I had thought in terms of man's own limited dimension. I had presumed upon nature that existence begins and ends is man's conception, so not nature's. And I felt my body dwindling, melting becoming nothing. My fears melted away, and in their place came acceptance. All this vast majesty of creation, it had to mean something. And then I meant something too. Yes, smaller than the smallest, I meant something too. To God, there is no zero. I still exist. I looked up, as if somehow I would grasp the heavens. 
the universe, worlds beyond number, God's silver tapestry spread across the night. And in that moment I knew the answer to the riddle of the infinite. I thought in terms of man's own limited dimension. I presumed about nature that existence begins and ends is man's conception, not nature's. And I felt my body dwindling, melting, becoming nothing. My fears melted away, and in the <laughs> Um, so if you replace Hillary with any politician you like, but Wilders, <laughs> and replace Trump with you know who, then I think you will get my point, which is not so subtle to begin with. Um, so that's Donna. <laughs> I just need to. Um, first of all, I wanted to say there have been big changes at the Apple. Um, there was a big. I'll tell you, their size, that backyard is like 10 miles, giant blades of grass, huge insects, it's a jungle out there, yeah, you're probably right. What is the history of the drone and is there a way to know its future? Can drones perhaps be appropriated and used for social good in activism, art, and for providing services? Fait un rêve. Investigating forms of military surveillance, espionage, war making, and weaponry. Fait un rêve. The question I would like to ask then is if it would be possible to look at the drone outside of the context of military operations. To imagine a civilian future for it, a way to reverse its attachment to violence and control towards accessibility. Viens volter en liberté. Je dansais dans les... Ah. Nah. Tu as fait le mémo en bas. Une fois partagé... Thank you. I have some bad news for you. You're, you're not short enough. <laughs> um, I think the human species should be much smaller. And I'll try to tell you why, and I'll tell you some of the consequences, and I'll also tell you how I think we could actually achieve that. Because we all know that, of course, there are seven billion people in the world by now. And that seems like rather a lot, especially if you think about the fact that at uh, the dawn of agriculture, there were only five million people on the entire planet. And around the year zero, there were 200 million. Now, of course, that represents an increased human height pressure. That means we just need more of everything. More energy, more food, more water, more space. Sure. Again, I had the sensation so of instant. this place before we both go crazy. Of each movement, Somewhere each thought tuned to some great directing oh, force. That's almost twice as much, but of course he's not twice the, le the, the length. So you see that illustrated perfectly. Now this is not, <coughs> again, not very good design. So I think <coughs> it would be a lot better. <laughs> it would be a lot better if Shaquille O'Neal were a lot shorter. So let's first downsize him to Nate Robinson's. That would also make the game much fairer, of course. <coughs> but let's not stop there. Let's let, and look at his weight. 
if he's only 150 centimeters, and we all know people that are 150 centimeters, like on the bottom of what we consider to be rather normal still. He had fire. It was an intelligent being. Now, this is interesting because he's living on an island. A lot of times when things, species get trapped on islands, they actually become very, very large, where they become very, very small. You know, the turtles in the Galapagos. But then this man is very small. And there's a lot of small, small island species. And there's a lot of theories about it, food for one, etc. But the one that I find best is um, the fact that because they don't have any natural enemies anymore, they just grow into the size that they want to grow into. That's ready. You're cleared to shoot. Three, two, one. Missile is away. Contact. He's moving. Target is not taken out. Repeat, not taken out. Crew, JTAC's nine line is still active. You're still cleared to engage. Missile is away. And contact. Customer asks if anyone can. What is the history of the drone and is there a way to know its future? Can drones perhaps be appropriated and used for social good in activism, art, and for providing services?
show, man. But that's a good one. There ain't much to see here, but take your time and have a good look anyway. Now, what is? Sure, this is one hell of a script you got here. A very tricky grind. Can't imagine you'd see things too clear without them, you know. But don't worry at all. I might get you fixed up in no time flat. Where's Convict? Oh, setting up this trade show. Got to introduce the spring line. What's in the box? Your head. <laughs> Got your head in this box. <laughs> Been busy, Max. Been reading about you in the papers. Hmm. Have you been to see Bianca Oblivion? I saw her. And she give you any trouble? No. No. That's good. Maybe you'd like to visit somebody else now. Is that why you're here? Maybe. You've been very useful to us, Max. We'd like to keep using you until you're all gone. No. No. Open up to me. for you. Pittsburgh.